Paleontologists uncover the secrets of life in ancient climates. While some search for dinosaur bones, for others, like University of Regina professor Maria Velez, discoveries are made in tiny grains of sand. My research is focused on the analysis of diatoms and sediments from sediment cores drilled in um, water bodies, mainly lakes, but also I'm now looking at a bay system in a marine system. And what I'm trying to do is to reconstruct past environmental conditions. These microscopic creatures called diatoms are silica-shelled algae found preserved at the bottom of water bodies for centuries. Once you identify the species and you see in historically or stratigraphically from old to young what has been the changes in, in the diatom assemblages, in the, in the type of species that you find at different depths, uh, you can reconstruct what happened. The reason is because they are very sensitive to changes in pH, salinity, and water depth. So once one of those changes occurred, let's say your lake became uh, acidic, the dietary composition will change dramatically. Through this record drawn from research sites in Guatemala and Colombia, Professor Velez can see how climates change constantly over time. In one project, the diatome records even show the impact of Mayan farming on the environment thousands of years ago. For her, this window through time is the most exciting part of research. Several undergrad students also became fascinated with this type of paleontology. They volunteered to help examine the effects of volcano eruptions on diatome populations. During her undergraduate studies, Yvonne Edwards also had the chance to travel to Colombia. We actually ended up being able to go up the Nevada del Rouge volcano, and it was like incredible. Like you don't see anything like that in Saskatchewan. And so for me that was really interesting because we went with some local volcanologists from Columbia. We hooked up like with a bunch of their students in geology and we went to their National Volcanic Research Institute and uh, they taught us a whole bunch. We got to see what they actually would do on a day-to-day -day basis. From the ashes of volcanoes to the shells of ancient algae, geologists know that pieces of the earth itself can be the finest history books.